Thank you, Mr. Chairman, and thank you for holding this hearing today. Um, and thank to all the witnesses for being here today. Um, it's great to have such a diverse group of producers here, including Kurt Tonemaker from my area in Washington State, um, to talk about this issue. Um, the consumers I talk to are increasingly interested in a food system where sales occur at the shortest possible distance from the field to the fork. And they know that food traveling a short distance from farm to plate is more likely to be fresh and just as important, chefs are discovering that they can do better things with food if their raw materials, the fruits, the vegetables, meats, and dairy products are fresh and of higher quality. This trend has opened up new markets for food raised by producers who take pride in not only growing a quality product, but also telling a compelling story. Urban and rural residents are learning that they like to have direct connections to farmers and farm life. They like knowing where their food comes from and knowing that it's grown by producers who take good care of their farmland and their animals. These consumers like knowing that their purchases not only sustains the producer, but also builds their community as well. These consumer preferences are opening up more opportunities for farmers to directly market or sell their products through channels that keep their identity as producers closely connected to their products. I'm biased, and I think um, so is Congressman Newhouse, um, my colleague, but I believe in Washington State we grow some of the best food you can find. Um, in my district, farmers are also incredibly innovative in marketing to a diverse set of customers. And one example is the Puget Sound Food Hub, born for, with the help of USDA local food promotion and value-added producer grants, as well as assistance from private entities. This is a group of roughly 40 farms and partners operating cooperatively to market and distribute locally produced food to restaurants, hospitals, preschools, the cafeteria at Amazon, and grocery stores, to name a few. Instead of buying costly equipment to ha or having to drive long distances, these farmers have pooled their resources to be more competitive and reach more customers. As a result, sales directly to farmers are growing, and some farms have even been able to hire additional employees. I appreciate the energy and creativity of the producers before us here today. They are, each in their own way, engaged in highly focused, relationship-oriented marketing. This approach is so needed in agriculture today, and many times is absent. Um, but this is also a great example of what the Agriculture Committee does so well. There's no partisan agenda here today. Instead, we're hearing straight from producers about their relationship with consumers, so we're in better informed on how to craft agriculture policy. So thank you, everyone, for being here today. And with that, I yield back.